I'm Gary Lutzenarian from the Armenian Museum, and I'm here today to share a piece of Armenian furniture with you. This is a, I mean, their furniture is actually pretty rare because in the villages they didn't use furniture a lot. They used textiles. So you put it on your bed cover at night to sleep and you roll up and put it away in the daytime. Furniture was mostly in the cities. This beautiful example was a, a, a money changer's desk. And it was from Caesarea, uh, which is west of the Armenian plateau. Uh, and this was a, made out of black cherry wood. The design is a grapevine here. I mean, there's a lot of great lines as far as the basic design to it. You can see this beautiful scroll work along here. And it's basically four drawers at the bottom. Again, with this beautiful work. And when it's closed, it looks like a simple desk, a simple um, bureau. But this top piece has an actual chair and drops down the front, converted into a working desk for our owner. Now, this you can put the various kinds of inks, papers um, in, in here. And of course, here would be where you'd store other documents. And up the top here was for either ledgers, which were pretty rare in the uh, Ottoman Empire at that time, or uh, scrolls in the sense that this is before the paper clip was invented. So if you have a document and you want to store it, you've got to roll it up, you tie a little ribbon around it, and you put it in there. And so it takes up a lot of space because, you know, paperwork is quite a great invention. Anyway, you can see how the these lock up here. So this man would have this in the bazaar, and this is where he would do his work. But the problem is, uh, at night, what happens if somebody breaks into your booth and wants to rob you? Well, some of the pieces here, of course, lock, such as this one here. But there's also other uh, secrets to the desk. It took me over an hour to figure all these secrets out to it. Okay, so if you unlock this piece right here in the front, that great a piece, and you have a space here, a cubby hole. Then this slides out here. Slides out here. These are all hidden uh, compartments in the desk. Another one slides out here. So that's it, right? Nothing's in there. Ah, but you close this up, pull these out. These, this little wooden top slides over, uh, slides over to unlock. And what that allows you to do then is reach behind. So you have two compartments here and more compartments back here. And the whole idea of these compartments is another one there as well. A stretch. This way you could hide things, and a thief wouldn't find them. Pro professional thief would find it easy, of course. He's a pro. But for an amateur thief, you'd have a hard time finding it. It'd take you a while to figure out how to access these. Okay, so then these would throw away. There's a, now, there's a story behind this desk. This desk, as I said, was in Caesarea. And there was a fire in the bazaar which wiped out a lot of the bazaar, and include this man's business. But somehow this desk survived the fire, and he needed a grub stake to start his business again. So he had this ship to uh, Constantinople, and the, there he sold it, and the money he used for that was his, from the desk he uh, used to start his business again. This was kept in a, a, a rug store in uh, Constantinople. Arthur Kitik Goyan, one of Alma's founders, saw it in the store. He, he bought, Loved the piece of furniture, he bought it, and he kept it at his uh, studio, uh, his rug studio in Lower Falls. And he used to keep all the wool to repair the rugs in this, uh, in this desk here. People would see this and say, oh, ah, that shouldn't be used for the rugs. Uh, you ought to put that in an Armenian museum. And I would say, well, if they ever make one, I'll give it to them. But until then, I'm using it for my rugs. And when we found it, Alma, of course, he said, well, now's the day. And he gave us this beautiful example, and this is probably the finest example of Armenian furniture we have in our collection today. 